Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today, guys, we're finally doing the multiverses beginner, guys. And let's get straight into the video. Now, the first tip I'm gonna give you is your controls. Look into your controls because controls are everything in any video game. Now, when you go to your controls, no matter what your keyboard and I'm on controller, it doesn't matter. There's obviously a small difference, but we're gonna be controller because I am controller. But there's, I'll, I'll tell you, you know, when there's a difference. But pretty much, you wanna make sure you look at all your buttons, see what's the most optimal and what feels the best to you. Um, the, the main thing you wanna have in this controls is your neutral attack, your neutral special, and your neutral evade. And what these does is allows you to bind your neutral stuff to a button instead of having to stop your whole movement to do these um move sets so for example i have neutral attack and neutral special new, uh, neutral binded so now i'm able to do these while moving so instead of me having to stand still and using my neutral i'm able to full sprint full run and you know use my neutral right away same thing with um neutral dodge i'm able to run full sprint and let's say bugs bunny's about to hit me i could um you know spot dodge and attack him and punish him uh, same thing with my special. Instead of me, you know, stopping my movement to um, press my special, I could just, you know, full sprint and, you know, do stuff like that. It's very viable. Highly, highly recommend. Make sure these buttons are binding because I know a lot of people still don't even know that this exists in the game. Um, moving on, you probably want to bind your pickup item because I know a lot of people. <laughs> I know it. Don't even say it doesn't happen because it happens to me sometimes. Buying your pickup item. You don't want this on. Um, at the bottom, you can also take it off. There's a button that says, oh, you can pick up while attack. You want it off, to be honest. I might even start doing it, to be honest, because sometimes it be getting to me. <laughs> um, another thing you could do is you could swap your ground side with neutral attack. Same thing with your air, t um, air side with neutral attack. But again, I just showed you how to have neutral buttons, so I wouldn't recommend it. But you can do this if you um, want to be able to move and do your neutrals. And then if you want to stand still and do your side stuff. But yeah. Um, next, this one is only for controller, which will be a horizontal and vertical dead zone. And this will just allow you to do less miss inputs because of, you know, how analogs work. Um, if you have low, you know, you might mess up or jank up or how it feels. Um, having a higher dead zone, I feel like it allows you to do it less because um, on certain angles, you can know what works and test it out in the lab. And yeah. Um, next is universal, which is input buffer and pretty much what it says to window time frame um, for your current inputs to take effect when changing it. If you're a precise player, I recommend it down low. But if you're a master or you know extended button pusher, I, re I recommend it being high, maybe even keeping it here. But at least for me, I like it at 25. I don't know, I just found like that's my sweet spot. So definitely recommend you testing this out, even with the input um, buffer hold. Same thing, what it says is what it does is the buffered inputs will only take effect if the input is still held when the action is allowed. So same thing. Um, next we have is your double crouch platform. You know, you you know like to teabag or whatever. You don't like this, you can take it off. If you do, you can keep it on. Your tap jump. This, what this allows you to do is you jump with your analog stick. If you like it, then there you go. If you don't, don't recommend it. <laughs> um, this is what I was talking about, attack on pickup. recommend you taking this off. Might take a minute to learn, but trust me, it might be worth it. If you have, you know, free buttons on your um, controller or keyboard, definitely recommend it. Fast forward method, I recommend hold, same as the game does, but you can have it on tap. Again, feels weird. It feels like, I don't know. I don't know how to really explain it. Um, and next we have is the right stick. The right stick, um, I feel like it's very dependent on the character so for example for batman and velma i love to use special as my right stick but for bugs and harley i like to use attack on my right stick because it just feels better doing certain moves okay next we have is you're not jumping correctly now you're probably saying what are you talking about i know how to jump so there are two different type of jumps in this game which is tap jump and hold jump yeah i know a lot of y'all probably didn't even know that you can hold jump and don't tell me you sweaty pros and all the stuff that you use hold jump a lot of people don't use it because they're always you know trying to do fast movement and stuff Start using this more. Start looking into actually using your jumps at your full potential than tap jumping when you're off stage. Because you could actually get more height and do a lot more things when doing this. Trust me. Stop tap jumping and start hold jumping and then tap jumping. Because I don't think, yeah, I don't think you can hold your second jump. But for your first jump, you can, you know, get some height. So make sure you start doing that more. Next we have is wave dashing. Now, now a lot of people are going to say this is not wave dashing, but this is just pretty much the fastest movement in this game, how to run and stuff. So what you do is you want to dodge, jump, fast fall, jump. And that's the best way to get across the map to help your teammates. So this is pretty much how it looks. Yep, you just dodge, and as soon as you dodge, you jump, fast fall, jump. 
And it's like a bunny hop, pretty much. Okay, next we have is air stalling. And what this does is it allows you to stay in the air and have all your options still while not dying uh, when you get hit into the blast zone. So um, you got to try it on all your characters. Um, some characters obviously have it better than others, but you have to find that one button that just works for you. For example, as you can see with my side attack, I kind of fast fall with um, Superman. My down attack, it does the job too, and my up job does the job too. Uh, just find out which one falls down the slowest, and that is your best option to do. So, uh, what this allows you to do is it allows you to save all your recoveries, which is your jumps, your special, and your dodges. So, you know, in game, let's say you get hit, you know, say, oh my god, you're at a high percentage, and you get hit, right? Oh my god. Now, what everyone does is they dodge, you know, their first option is, oh my god, I need to dodge, you know, I, I can't, I can't die. But in reality, you can literally stop your momentum same way with you know your your neutral uh, your neutral your normal attacks and then this allows you to keep all your options that uh when people fall off stage and try to chase you you have all your options still versus you know not having them um but yeah definitely look at what's the best option for you to use on every character every character is different for example for shaggy one is his best is his down air so i get attack my dare is the best way to stop now don't get me wrong when you're at a high percentage i kind of do recommend you at least using one of your dodges but after that, don't try to use your special. Don't try to use um, a jump, air dodge, um, air stall. You know, and then allows you to have your special and your jump. So when they do try to come for you, you're able to punish, or you're able to, you know, get back to safety by just using your abilities to get back. Um, but yeah, that's air stalling. Next we have is charge canceling. What this allows you to do is allows you to, you know, one of your charge moves and cancel out of it. Um, same thing with jumping. If you didn't know that, you can jump out of it too. But um, what we do is we call it um, charge canceling dancing. So pretty much you can just charge and you know dance. Certain characters it does it better with, but yeah. Uh, but obviously this uses up all your you know your dodge meter, and you don't want to do that. Um, but you know cool stuff is you can do mix up. So for example, you could like bait that you're charging, come off, and then come back because you know you just canceled it. They're gonna think that you're running away to preset um, better, but you can just bait. Um, you know, like for example, like say, say, you know, I'm about to charge, Bugs Bunny's about to hit me with a move, and I don't think I'm gonna win it. The counter effect, I just dodge and then reset my move and do it again. Um, another thing that works um, on some characters, not all characters, but is um, charge attack canceling, and what it does is it allows you to dodge after um, after attacking, and this is an uh, active hit frame. Why is it an active hit frame? I don't know, but yes, you can do this. Why? I don't know, but you know. The more, the more you know, you know. <laughs> um, Harley could do it too, not as good as him, but like I said, um, some characters can do it. And yes, it's active. It's a ha active hit frame. But yeah, <laughs> the more you learn. Next we have is hit canceling move, and what this is is is, a, is hitting and dodging into a hit again. So one of the best characters to do it on, as you've seen the cat and probably other one woman do, is do her neutral attack into her neutral attack. So, for example, you would go for that, dodge, and go for that, and it would be a true combo. Now, obviously, I did that wrong, but right there, bam, four hits done, it's a true combo. Um, other characters can do it. Um, you just have to test it out and see uh, what spot dodging or, you know, you know, normal dodging um, can do with the floor bounce and all that stuff. Another thing is with Finn, you could do the same thing, um, kind of to extent. So, for example, instead of doing a combo like this, like I know a lot of people probably say this is not this useful, but it actually is extra damage, and why wouldn't you do it if you could get it down pack? So, for example, his normal attack would just be this, which would do 12 damage. Um, but why do that when you can spot dodge and do more? That's 16. And I'm pretty sure you could do it twice. Yeah, look, I can do it twice. I just did 20 damage. I'm happy I did that on my first try. Holy hell. <laughs> but, yeah, so... Hit canceling uh, on characters is very, um, really good. Um, even with the like not being perfect on, like, as you just saw, like keeping it as a true combo, that one second of frame of people dodging is also very rare. Now you do have you know people that do spam dodge and you know probably will get out of it, but other times people are spamming dodge and because they're spamming it and not timing it correctly, they miss input the timing of it and you could still hit them and continue the combo so for example i'll show you the best way to do it on this is true but at the same time again like if you dodge too quick and miss the 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 timing um it won't work so for example for superman i could do this that's a true combo and even if i say like again let's say if i messed up right like right there you see how he's like kind of still stunned but like not fully stunned that's like the one frame that they can dodge but because of the move and 
how like I said if you miss that one frame because you're spamming it and you're not getting it um, you're gonna you know mess up <laughs> as you can see um, but yeah that is hit canceling moves next we have is learn your characters moves guys I cannot stress this enough whoever you're meaning whoever you're playing look at their move sets look at their move list look what it does look what it adds there is so much stuff about Velma that I did not know I just played and I looked and I was like oh this is there this is that oh that's cool did you know that Velma words not only you probably saw this Velma words like when it goes on a teammate it um charges you know it, it charges um that charges them it, it makes them faster pretty much um but did you know that when it goes to a teammate it um heals Velma I never knew that I, I never knew that um again another you know shitty move that no one uses is her this move right a lot of people don't know that this gives armor and gray health so for example I'll show you right now a lot of people don't know that it does that because they don't play the game or not play the game they don't read look he has armor and six gray health for a few seconds you tell me what Velma is doing this have you ever seen a Velma do this move with, with their teammate ever in game ever there is so much that you can learn. I'll give you another one. I, I, I think a lot of Arias did learn this. But did you know that um, her down special, right? Her special down special. Um, the one that, um, what is it? Uh, the, ah, shoot, what is it called? The blade sharpening, the, the, the turn. Did you know that it's a invulnerable move? As in, like, you can't get hurt. Like, like, like you can't get hit. I'm talking like I'm on Twitch. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Um, but you know you can't get hit. It's a dodge. You can literally bait people with this. People, people don't know this. People, people don't know this. Because they don't read. Look how long that look how long that frame is active for. Look how long that dodge window is. It's it's a free hit. And people don't know that. Learn your character moves, guys. I stress this enough. Learn them. You will be very surprised of what you learn on your character. Next, guys, lab your characters. Doesn't matter. I know you're probably saying labbing is boring, labbing. No, lab your characters. Whatever your one, two, three characters that you main, lab them because you can learn a lot of things. For example, the whole Harley combo that I made. I know a lot of people don't know that I made it, but yes, I've been doing it since the play test is, you know, back in NDA. And then I showcased it a little bit on, um, Hungry's box video. I was one of his first clips with the whole combo on Taz, and then after that, I started testing more things. I was like, "Hmm, this is interesting." And I just never posted it because, you know, kind of wanted the combo to stay and not let it be known. But obviously, you know, people, you know, labbed and found it out. But yeah, trust me, labbing allows you to get stuff out. It allows you to find stuff out. Like finding stuff like this is game changing. For example, I'll show you on another character. I don't see a lot of Supermans doing this. Obviously, like, probably in harder lobbies, it's hard to probably get it off. But it's worth it because it does a lot of damage. And you can finish it off with things that get you off stage. And you could, you know, get people. Oh, bro, there's, there's so much stuff. And I know y'all yeah, know about the whole shaggy loop. I don't, I'm not perfect um, on it, but, bro. It... Learn your characters. You you will learn a lot of things um, that you can do with characters and stuff. And it's worth it to be in the lab and learning what you can and can't do. Trust me. It's worth it. And finally, guys, is learn what kills on your character. Now, I'm going to show the most basic way to do this. But literally learning what one of your moves kill at is very very good to know because it lets you do less work so instead of you fighting a shaggy at 150 going ah, ah i need to do this and you can just do one move like this and just kill instead of you going like this and like oh my god he's still alive how 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 is he still alive oh my god he, he's still alive find out what move kill that certain percentage and it'll make your life so much easier even even combo moves there's there's combo moves i i found this out literally two seconds of doing this video literally i was like oh wow okay i didn't know you could just do that so again for harley i'm so sorry i'm so sorry harley means if this started happening to you i apologize but pretty much on iron giant start oh, okay didn't didn't hit her what the hell are you hit her spin okay it's a true combo i, I promise i promise oh my god okay i promise and that's a true combo learn guys learn 
Stop working hard. Stop doing stuff like this when you can just bait that one move. And don't, 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 don't stop at one. Try to find multiple. As you can see, that doesn't kill like that. Okay, but yeah. Learn what kills at what percentage, guys. Trust. Trust, 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 trust. It is very viable. Very needed. It makes you work less. Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Learn what kills. It makes your life so much easier. Alright, that's it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this beginner guide. And hopefully this improved your gameplay a lot. Because this is a lot of information. There's obviously way more, but I'll see what I do. I'll see if I'm going to be doing coaching and stuff for that. Or if I will continue the videos, depending on how this video does. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Comment by anything. You know, I love y'all comments. And also, if you're first time ever watching one of my videos. And you do love multiverse content. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Because that's what I post. And I'm out. She got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got another five on her side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find out